so soft, Mandalorian. What's up all you bounty hunter and dudes and you dads? Toy Shazir and I'm back yet again with another rockin' rad video. Today we are going to be checking out all the Mandalorian merch madness from the brand new Disney Plus show. Really awesome products from Zazzle to Igloo Coolers to Star Wars action figures. I got all the latest goods and it's stuff that you're going to want to go out and get, I'm sure, after you've already watched the television show. By the way, some spoilers here and there, just FYI, I might just not intentionally try to do anything, but if you haven't seen The Mandalorian Episode 1 just yet, well, I would hold off just watching this. I don't want to give anything away, but I'll try to keep it to a bare minimum, but a lot of rad stuff to check out from cups to coolers to hats, pins, action figures, all that good stuff. Let's check it out. Let's do it up right. This is my Mandalorian merch madness video. Let's do it. Now, first up is this mug by Zazzle. This is the Mandalorian standard-sized coffee mug, but it has this gorgeous wrap of the new Mandalorian artwork, sort of like that trading card-looking artwork that they did. I love the colors on this. To me, just absolutely screams Star Wars. It is a standard mug with just some artwork printed on it, of course, but it really does stand out. Yeah, it is a standard coffee mug. And it does serve up a nice hot cup of coffee, I will say. It does what it needs to do. But after a long day of bounty hunting or something like that, well, I would say sitting down with a nice cup of coffee might be just your cup of coffee. And this is available on Zazzle right now if you want to go ahead and check it out. And again, links and codes in the description below. So be sure to check it out. That way you can watch The Mandalorian and drink some great coffee out of this particular mug. If you are a Mandalorian fan, you're probably going to want to rock one of these Mythosaur pins. One of Boba Fett's or just the Mandalorian's way of saying, hey, guess what? We've been here. Check out our awesome rockin' skull. Now this is from GameStop and these are available now if you want to go ahead and grab one. I had to basically ride a Mythosaur to kind of track one of these things down. A lot of the GameStops had no idea what I was talking about, but if you pre-order or if you buy Star Wars merchandise in the amount of $50 or over, they will give you this really sweet Mandalorian pin. There will be other pins released subsequently throughout the month of November, but this one is definitely the must-have if you are a Mandalorian fan. Now we're headed way to the deep south of the Star Wars universe. This is their bounty hunter, the Mandalorian tagged trucker hat if you're interested in one of these i haven't worn a trucker hat in quite some time i gotta say but this is from the auto collection and again if you want to go ahead and grab one well exactly it's not my cup of tea i will will be honest to say i know a lot of people do wear hats and it is cool to see the bounty hunter but not really my thing in particular but i will say it's a nicely well made hat it's a trucker's hat it's not anything crazy but again if you want to be rocking some mandalorian merch then maybe this trucker's hat is definitely going to be right up your alley. Which then, of course, brings us to this big mamma jamma. This is an immensely huge, and it's actually really, really stylized, really cool. This is from Igloo. As you can see, this is part of their new Star Wars collection. And I kind of sort of teased it last week on my Instagram, but embedded all over it is really cool, old-fashioned, colorized versions of old Kenner Star Wars action figures. And as you can see, we got some Mandalorian action right there. But yeah, it's the standard igloo. It's got the button, but just look at all the crisp color artwork. I really, really dig that. And it opens like a standard igloo cooler. And inside you could keep your lunch, your blue milk, or hey, even some Star Wars action figures, some old school but not really retro collection, if you know what I mean. Keep your food hot or cold. Truth be told, it's just one of those interesting looking collector pieces, especially dealing with all the action figures on there. So if you're a big Star Wars old school Kenner fan, I definitely think you're gonna check out this Igloo cooler. So with action figure coolers, now we can finally get into the actual action figures. Now, I'll be honest with you, I thought the off-world Jawa was more of one of those new video game style characters that goes with Cal Kestis, but this guy actually did show up in the Mandalorian episode one as of yesterday, today, you know, they went live early last night. This guy was a complete pain to find if you're like me and Target keeps pushing back your carbonized Mandalorian, well then, yeah, we're all in the same boat here, so fingers crossed, they finally get shipped. Also from the Mandalorian is a Cara Dune figure, still wasn't able to come across her just yet, but you can grab this IG-11 figure, he is a Best Buy exclusive, and he's actually not too hard to come by, but if you have seen episode one, I think you're going to be wanting him on the shelf. He is a little bit of a redo. We'll pair him up with the other IG-88 figure. But 
Very excited to have the Mandalorian, and we'll also check out this off-world Jawa, so let's go ahead, let's open them yeah, up. Of course, here they all are out of the packaging, and wait, no, what? Ah, I must be out of Biscar. yes, straight out of the packaging. He's missing his little shoulder non-pauldron thing that, well, out of the Mandalorian, he gets a brand new shiny one in episode one. But yes, unfortunately on mine, it was not in the packaging. And based on the fact that I took a photo of the unopened package, I didn't even notice till right now. So yeah, unfortunately, Hasbro missed my little shoulder pad right there. But I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'll try and figure something out. But that doesn't detract from a rather amazing looking Mandalorian figure. His little gun fits into the back part. His other gun fits in right there. It's, it's a well-executed well-painted figure, but God, come on, of course, uh, after finding this guy in all this time, of course he'd be missing something, but the paint's really great on him, love the helmet, really awesome to have this in hand. Also with IG-11, he looks really great, I I'm a big fan of the IG units, especially being from Shadows of the Empire, but he's got a new paint job on him, new little bandolier straps, he's got a new little gun holder. He's actually painted really well, and if you can get in there and kind of see the dot matrix printing on him all over the top of his, the, his head basically, or wherever you were looking at, all the reds, and I love the little copper orange. It's This is a really cool looking figure, but one thing I will say, he's very loose in the feet, unfortunately. So that would be the one downsize but other than that it's exactly the same minus the bandoliers and of course minus the paint to the original ig88 let's see we go let's, let's get him to stand there we go then of course that brings us to the off-world jawa again nice to see a different looking jawa yes this is a repaint but strangely enough it, it works got this really nice cloth goods robe thing going on i like the red eyes He's got this little gun strap harness thing. Overall, yeah, it's a really, it's actually a satisfying figure and one because he was in the Mandalorian last night. Yeah, it makes him extra cool. Which of course finally brings us to this. <laughs> well, that yeah, that's not gonna do it proper. This is again by Zazzle. This is their 50 by 60 inch, no joke, fleece blanket featuring that beautiful new Mandalorian artwork that they got going on. It's Pans down my favorite thing of this video it was going to be the action figure, but since he's missing the whole pauldron, but I do have it on the couch in my office. You get really nice full color looks at Cara Dune, the Mandalorian IG-11. You also get some TIE Fighter action up in the top corners of this with that really nice red sunset. Very Western, very just detailed, but it looks great when screen printed on the blanket, I got to say. And you also get Nick Nolte if he was a human Star Wars puppets, you know what I mean? I have spoken. And it's it's the softest thing ever. It's like sleeping on a cloud. I'm not even making that up. It's huge. It's awesome. It's going to look great hanging in your nerd room or on your couch, something like that. So I do highly recommend this sucker. So that's going to wrap it up for today's Mandalorian merch madness video. I hope you guys liked checking out all these new Star Wars and Mandalorian products. Now, Zazzle does have this amazing new Mandalorian lunchbox. It's sold out at least two or three times. They are trying to get one over, and I want to take a really nice look at it. So hopefully, we'll be checking that out very soon. But again, I wanted to say thank you to Igloo Coolers and, of course, Zazzle for sending over their awesome Star Wars merchandise. Good time. I, I think there's a lot of great stuff out there, from GameStop pins to Hasbro Star Wars action figures to this really nice mug. I, I'm on the fence about the Bounty Hunter hat, just saying. And of course, you got one of those bootleg Boba Fett's and Boba Fett looking around the corner. But this Igloo Cooler is very cool, and I especially love the softness of this blanket, and I see IG-11 digs it as well. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about any of these products. Again, all the links are down in the description below. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember The Mandalorian is hitting Disney Plus now. The show rocks. I just hope it continues rocking because I'm very excited to see what they could do with all the different sweet merchandise. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.